Hi, I'm Jason Ray with Simply Home with today's tech tip. One of the most common support calls we get here at Simply Home is when your system becomes disconnected. As a part of your monthly service, your system is monitored for connecting to our servers. And if your system is disconnected for more than five minutes, you should get an alert saying that your system is no longer sending in information. The two most common uh, problems we see with uh, your system be becoming disconnected are a loss of power to any of your devices or a loss of your internet connection. To start with, uh, we have two different models of our Butler system. We have our tabletop version, which is in this plastic case here, and then a wall-mounted version in this metal case here. Uh, all the components inside are identical, but um, they look a little bit different. The one major difference is that on the uh, wall-mounted version, the router is actually inside the box, as you'll see here, versus on the tabletop version, it's outside. So you have the Simply Home base unit, you have a router that is provided by Simply Home, um, which could look like this. It could also be black, so there's a couple of different versions of, of this, but it's the unit that's actually directly connected to your Simply Home base unit. And then finally, you have the modem, and this is provided by your internet service provider. The way to identify this box is that it will be directly connected to either a phone jack or a cable jack in your wall. As you can see with this uh, version right here, this is a DSL modem provided by AT&T. You'll see on the back a green DSL cable that's actually plugged into a phone jack here in our office. And then you'll also see the ports on the back uh, for connecting your uh, provided Simply Home router. The first thing to do is actually check the power to all these devices. So uh, what you're going to want to do is, the easiest way to check that is look for lights on any of the devices. So you can see here in the front of the modem we have a few lights um, showing here. Same thing on the front of our router. And then if you were to look uh, on your Simply Home unit, um, there's a status light right here that should be blinking uh, red every couple of seconds. If you don't have lights on any of those devices, you're going to want to go and find whatever power source it's connected to. If that's a power strip, make sure the power strip's on, make sure everything's plugged securely into the wall before you move on, but you will need to make sure that all the devices are properly powered on before moving to the next step. That next step will be checking your internet connection, and the first part of that is making sure you have an active internet connection. Um, oftentimes we find out that um, internet connections have been shut off or no longer active. So the thing you're going to want to do is go to your modem uh, provided by your internet service provider. Look at the lights on the front. Um, uh, they're a little bit different between cable and DSL, but you're going to want to check the um, internet connection light. If it's red or not lit up, like you see here, uh, both our DSL and our internet lights are not lit up because it's not connected. That would mean that you have no service on this box currently, and you're going to want to contact your internet service provider to get that resolved. But if you have a, a solid internet connection on your um, cable modem or DSL modem, you're going to want to then make sure your wiring configuration is all set up properly. To do that, simply turn your modem around, and you'll see in this case we have the incoming connection uh, over here from uh, the wall, which again could either be in a cable jack or a phone jack. And then we have some available ports here to plug in Ethernet cables. It could be one or it could be up to four or five like you see here. You can plug into any of these devices, uh, but you're going to want to make sure that your router provided by Simply Home is plugged into one of these ports. And then looking at the router provided by Simply Home, you're going to want to make sure that that wire coming from the modem is plugged into the Internet port, which is blue here. It's also sometimes labeled as WAN, W-A-N. Um, you're going to want to make sure that the incoming connection from your modem is plugged into that port, uh, which on this device is labeled WAN or Internet. Once you've confirmed that, you're going to want to make sure that your base unit is connected properly. Um, you'll see this white wire that we have here plugged into one of the available um, local area connection ports, uh, which are shown in yellow here. It goes over to the Simply Home base unit. Um, and to check the connection on this, you're just going to have to open up the, the box. On the metal unit, it is a locked unit, and it just uh, swings open, but you'll need the keys to get into it. On the plastic unit, there's just four screws, one in each corner. Just loosen those, pull the cover off. You should find the um, Ethernet cable, uh, which is this white cable here. could also be yellow or blue, uh, but you find the incoming wire coming in, and it should be plugged in securely to this black box on the top of the unit here. So make sure that's all connected and in, in, in securely. And if you've checked all your connections, you've checked your power, you've made sure that you have uh, internet service, and your system's still not connected, 
you're going to want to power cycle all the components of your system. And this is one thing that it does matter the order that you do this in. So um, we're going to want to start with the modem, again provided by your internet service provider. Simply unplug it and instead of you know, fumbling around behind a piece of furniture to, to find out where it's plugged into the wall, just simply unplug it from the back of the unit, leave it unplugged for about 10 seconds, plug it back in, and now you're going to want to wait about 30 seconds to let this device fully restart before moving on to the next step. Once the cable modem is fully restarted, move on to the uh, router. On the back of the router, same thing, unplug it, leave it unplugged for about 10 seconds, plug it back in. Once again, give it about 30 seconds to fully restart before moving on to the next step. After that 30 seconds has passed, again, go to your base unit. And right next to where the wires are coming in the bottom of the unit, you'll find a black switch right here. Simply switch that off. Again, leave it off for about 5 or 10 seconds. Switch it back on. You should see all the lights come back on inside. And then you're going to want to go and check the connection of your system. You should receive an alert within 5 to 10 minutes uh, that your system's back connected if, if that did the trick. You can also see that happen pretty quickly online if you log into your account. If you still have trouble getting your system connected after you've gone through these steps, please contact our customer support team at 877-684-3581, or you can also open a support ticket online once you log into the site. Thanks a lot.